Good morning. Ah, not a good morning. Good evening. Okay, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna talk about the uh, the step configuration step. Okay, so in Express, you have two ways to do configuration. Let's take a look at the first way is using a set method. If you want to say app dot set and uh, suppose env and uh, equals uh, development. Okay, you can say the current environment is development, but this is not a good way. Okay, just to show you, you can using set method. Uh, the better way uh, we will talk about later is using environment variable instead of doing like this. And how to retrieve value? You can using app dot get. Okay, env. This app is the value when we are using new express. Okay. The returned express object is held by this app. This is one way using set. The other way is the shorthand for set equal to enable. Suppose we're using e tag. Okay, okay, and you can also using disable like e tag. Okay, okay, this one from enable disable the name probably you already know that dot set uh, e tag equals true okay and this one is using app dot set e tag equals false okay so this is two ways for boolean values you can using enable disable and now I will show you a single application. Okay, so show you some uh, configurations just to show you one. Okay, because some others are hard to test by now. We will see more configurations when we talk about deployment. Because when we talk about deployment, we have to prepare and we have to prepare like for compress our JS file, CS file. We have to set up environment variables for like a development uh, for the production, right? We have to set other environment variable for like a port number or for uh, like a database connection. We have to set uh, using Hamlet to protect our Express application, those all kinds. So when we mostly when we develop uh, Express JS for configuration, probably mostly done a little bit when we uh, develop, okay? And mostly we are done when we are doing deployment. That's my experience, okay. But we can still see some of them now. Suppose one of them. Uh, oh, so before we set, first we using we make sure our get request work, okay. And uh, this is attach URL, and here we will give a callback. And here we can give a next. We will show you next letter. And here, let's using res dot send uh, using hello from express. Okay. And now uh, let me close and reopen. And here localhost three thousand. Okay, you will see hello from Express. Okay, but in Express, when using app that I use, it's not just a match slash because here, if I using slash ABC, it will also go there. It's kind of like a slash asterisk, which match map anything after this slash also map. See, also map. Okay, all of them will go here. Okay, and uh, let's using uh, one uh, called uh, uh, what's thing called uh, case sensitive routing. Okay, to set one. Suppose now I using a user um, slash users. Okay, 
and I also write a request response next and here we will give res.send hello from users slash users okay N now let's make a call to here slash users okay slash users now it go inside now if I change our slash users to capital it still works and we can configure to disable this kind of behavior app dot you uh, app dot set uh, uh, enable test sensitive routing okay and then now let's take a look at slash users it will go to express it doesn't go inside here because we enable case sensitive routing and suppose suppose uh, the uh, by the way the reason we go inside because in node in node the slash here is act like uh, uh, like this slash this one okay so that's why it didn't go inside of here then it go inside to a color express when i using users lowercase it will go to hello from users okay so for other suppose you want to enable e tag which is uh, oh okay sorry which is a way to for the cache mechanism you can to do like this way suppose you want to set a current environment because the current environment env is not is not a true or false it's not a boolean value so you must using set okay good this is how to do the configuration so let's go through the step again okay uh, last uh, video we talk about a structure we install dependency we initialization uh, instantiation with configuration so we are done configuration now right this one oh sorry this one we are done let's go back to the code and review again so here we install dependency okay we require and we instantiate we do the what's the thing configuration okay and then we boot up this here is a listen to the port number then we boot up using this one this command okay this is script and which is using node moon to start our app.js so I uh, hope you understand what's the configuration here is just to tell how your application gonna behave okay uh, not a behave uh, just the configuration okay uh, like uh, view template engine what kind of template engine or uh, how to do the cache mechanism uh, or those okay uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time bye bye